Now in most cases a weak laser is actually caused by a misalignment on the height of the laser head. It's a bit more involved than most of the things that we've talked about so far, but it's relatively simple once you kind of understand what's going on. So the first thing you want to do is just to make sure that it's actually the height that's causing it and not some other problem. Press the go down button to lower the laser to its lowest possible height. And then you're going to want to take the included ruler that came with your machine and measure the height from the work surface to the line that's in the middle of the laser head. That measurement in centimeters should be exactly what's on the back of the machine on a red label. It's kind of written in with pen. That needs to be the exact height from the work surface to the middle of the laser head at the lowest possible height. If that doesn't line up exactly, then it's been misconfigured and you're going to have to go in there and change that manually. Now before going forward, you're going to want to make sure to turn the machine off before you do any sort of repair or disassembly. Go ahead and remove the cover of the autofocus assembly. There's eight screws. Once those screws are removed, the autofocus assembly cover just slides right off. With the cover removed, go ahead and look for the sensor tab. It's being held by two screws and its alignment is actually what triggers the autofocus sensor. With that tab removed, go ahead and turn the machine back on and press the rise button to lift the laser head to the appropriate height. Remember that middle line that's on the center of the laser head has to be at the same measurement that's written on the back of the machine. Once you have it at the appropriate height, go ahead and turn the machine back off and reinstall the measurement tab. When you're choosing where to mount the tab, just make sure that the pin that sticks out of it is aligned perfectly with the black autofocus sensor that's directly behind the assembly. With the pin in place, go ahead and reinstall the assembly cover and then turn the machine back on. With the height adjusted, you'll notice that the laser is not the appropriate strength that's needed to remove back glass and to perform etching. We hope this video helped. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments. I'll get back to you as quick as I can and thanks for watching.